hopefully this video turns out well. I said I would make a video uh, on how to do some magic during quarantine. And this is going to be the video I'm going to make. So hopefully it works. Um, you can use any deck of cards. You can borrow deck of cards. Uh, if you have your own deck of cards, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's what I like about the trick I'm about to show you. Like, literally, you can just borrow any deck of cards. All you need to know is the card that's on the bottom. In this case, it's the three diamonds. Uh, so before you begin, again, if you borrow a deck, maybe because it's borrowed, you don't have to have them shuffle, mix, whatever, it's borrowed. Um, but you could if you wanted to. Or if it's your own deck, you can have them mix, shuffle, whatever. If they hand you the deck back and it's face up, you don't have to worry about it. Just note the bottom card and flip the deck over. 99% of the time, they're not even going to uh, realize it's that bottom card. If you're worried, they're going to recognize that it's the card when they hand you the deck back. All you have to do is give the deck a quick cut. And now there's a new card on the bottom. Just take a quick peek, hits the eight of hearts, you're good. So as long as you know the card that's on the bottom, that's all you need to know. Uh, what you're going to do is a Hindu shuffle. There's two different ways to do it. Uh, one is kind of like a sideways action like this. And uh, the other one is where you just pull from the top like this. And uh, all you're doing is you're just pulling some cards from the top, but uh, you're not going to place them back in the deck like I was just doing. You're just going to pull from the top and just hold them like so. So you're pulling from the top, and you'll notice your bottom card's never going to change. So like if you do an exposed view like this, because you're pulling from the top, the card that's on the bottom is staying, uh, in this case, the Jack of Diamonds. Now if I place these here, now the bottom card is the Seven of Clubs and so on. Uh, so, but when you're pulling from the top, this bottom card is never changing. So all you have to do, like I said, is once you know this bottom card, whenever the person you're showing this trick to says stop, you show them the bottom card. So how you do this is uh, you're holding the deck like so, and they say, you say, tell me when to stop. They say stop. As soon as they say stop, you just lift up this and you show them that bottom card. Now you do what's known as a reinforcer. This card's been on the bottom the whole time, but you're going to reinforce the fact that it came from the middle by taking it, showing them, show the audience, have a look at your card, memorize it, and then place it on top of this stack, placing it in the middle, just like that. So for instance, in this case, it's a five of clubs. Uh, now you do this, you say, they say stop, show them the card. From their point of view, you don't know what it is, but really you know it's the Five of Clubs. You can place it back in the middle, and now you know what their card is. From there, you can do anything you want with it. Uh, you can have them mix up the deck again, and while they're mixing it, you write down a prediction, your Five of Clubs. Um, before the trick even starts, once they hand you the deck, you take a quick peek. You see in this case, it's a King of Spades. You turn it over again if you if you feel like you need to do that quick cut and change it. It's the Nine of Clubs. Uh, set the deck down. Write down a prediction, Nine of Clubs. Fold it, put a paper clip on it, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then tell me when to stop. Now it's the Nine of Clubs. Place it in the middle. And you don't necessarily want to reveal it right away. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can reveal it. Like I said, you can write down a prediction. Uh, you can say you're going to use mental abilities. Uh, in this last example, it was a Nine of Clubs. So uh, you can say, well, was your card a cherry-colored card? Uh, most people are going to say no because they're going to assume the cherry's red. But you could say, well, you've never heard of black cherries. Um, since it's a club, you could also say, well, do you maybe golf? And if they say, well, yes, you say, well, okay, so it's a, it's a club. So I'm seeing, like, the clubs. And then you just got to figure out the number. It was a nine of clubs, however you want to do it. Um, but this is a, a neat little trick that can keep you guys, hopefully, entertained during quarantine. Um, and if you become really good with it, you can even control the card and make it look like the card disappears from the deck and uh, ends up on your prediction. There's just so many different uh, ways. But all you need to know is that bottom card, and that's it. Hopefully you guys have some fun with that. Who knows? I'm out.